What happens when a loved one vanishes without a trace? And the only answers you receive are silence. This is the haunting reality for many families in Balochistan. Please subscribe to this channel. Your single membership is extremely valuable for our growth and motivation. To receive regular updates, click the bell icon. Today, we delve into the disturbing issue of forced disappearances in this region. A crisis that has left thousands of families in the depths of despair and uncertainty. The advocacy group Voice for Balok Missing Persons estimates that there are over 7,000 missing persons, while the Commission of Inquiry on Enforced Disappearances reports 454 active cases. One such case is that of Balak Mola Baksh, who was allegedly abducted by the counter-terrorism department and later killed in what's been called a staged encounter. These disappearances are believed to involve Pakistani security forces, a claim they vehemently deny. Yet the question remains, where are these missing persons? For the family members left behind, the search for answers is a relentless and agonizing journey. In the face of despair, there is resilience. Families in Balochistan are refusing to be silenced, demanding accountability for their missing loved ones. The protest movement in Balochistan is a testament to this resilience. Bereaved families, driven by grief and desperation, have taken to the streets, raising their voices against the enforced disappearances of their kin. They've set up camps, staged sit-ins, and even embarked on hunger strikes outside the Islamabad press club. Their message, they want answers, they want justice. The Voice for Balok Missing Persons, or VBMP, has been instrumental in this movement, standing as a beacon of hope amidst the anguish. They've established a camp in Quetta, showcasing photos of those believed to have been forcibly taken by security forces. Their advocacy has brought attention to the plight of over 7,000 missing persons in Balochistan, a figure that far exceeds the 454 active cases reported by the Commission of Inquiry on enforced disappearances. But the journey is fraught with challenges. The military, accused of these abductions, denies any wrongdoing. The government, criticized for its perceived inaction, has yet to take resolute steps towards resolving the issue. The families, however, remain undeterred. The sit-ins continue, the hunger strikes go on, and the calls for justice only grow louder. These families, in the face of seemingly insurmountable odds, are making their voices heard. They're demanding an end to enforced disappearances, calling for inquiries into alleged staged encounters like that of Balak Molabaksh. They're insisting on their right to know what happened to their loved ones. This movement, born out of despair, is a testament to the indomitable spirit of the human heart. It's a call for justice, a demand for truth and a plea for an end to the torment of not knowing. The calls for justice grow louder each day, echoing the determination of these families to uncover the truth. As the cries for justice echo from Balochistan, the world watches and listens. The question remains, will there be a response? The haunting reality of forced disappearances is not confined to just this region. It's a grim reminder of the human rights violations persisting in many corners of the world. International response to this issue, however, has been notably muted. The stark contrast between the silence of the world and the pleas for justice from Balochistan is deafening. Yet, it's not too late for the global community to stand up and amplify these voices. Forced disappearances are a direct affront to human rights. They violate an individual's right to liberty, security, and, in the most tragic cases, the right to life itself. They leave families in ambiguity, torn between hope and despair. This is not just a regional problem, it's a human rights crisis. International human rights organizations have a crucial role to play. They can bring the issue to the forefront, raise global awareness, and pressurize governments to act. They can provide legal and emotional support to the afflicted families, helping them navigate the convoluted corridors of justice. The global community, too, cannot afford to remain a silent spectator. It's time for nations to transcend their political and economic interests, 
to uphold the universal values of human rights, public opinion, civil societies, and media across the globe can exert pressure on the concerned authorities, demanding immediate action and accountability. Forced disappearances in Balochistan remain a pressing concern, underlining the urgent need for transparency, accountability, and justice. It's a grim reminder that the fight for human rights is far from over. Until then, the voices of Balochistan will continue to echo, refusing to be silenced. For every voice that echoes, there's a face that disappears, a family that waits, and a world that ne needs to respond. Please subscribe to this channel. Your single membership is extremely valuable for our growth and motivation. To receive regular updates, click the bell icon.